What's that, Clemmy? Hello, how are you all doing? Merry Christmas. Do you like my little Christmas setup just here? Anyway, I did it for you, so there you are. Well, I didn't really, I'm lying. I did the Christmas tree because, well, it's Christmas. Hope you're all right. I've not done a film since about whew, October, I think, and I had planned and filmed another little sort of vlog, but things sort of, yeah, changed quite quickly, and I had to take a little break. So hopefully you realise that. So I'm back today, I'm going to do a little little vlog style video. We're going to go to Halifax, we're going to pick up some 35mm film uh, that I've got developed and I'm going to show you a little flavour of them. I'm not going to go into crazy detail today, but I'm going to show you a little bit of Halifax, show you what I've got up to and try and explain a little bit about what I'm hoping to get done in the channel next year. I'm not going away, but uh, I'm going to try and, let's say, Go with quality over quantity next year. So there we go. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly just change the shirt because it's really, really not flattering. Whew. Right, first up, I wanted to share something exciting with you. So I've got a, I'm hoping it'll focus, Analog Wonderland, which I get all my film from. They have sent me a, paid for by the way, not, it's not sent me like I'm some sort of superstar. <laughs> They've sent me a Christmas goodie box. So let's have a look what is in here. Da, 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 da. Well, first up, I've got a badge. Super happy about that. Oh, another badge. Even more excited about that. Oh, so let's have a look. I've got an Ilford black and white. Excellent. Oh, I've read about this. Signs to 800T. So I need to figure out what to do with that one. Oh, I've got one of these upstairs. In fact, I've got an undeveloped one in the fridge. A black and white form pan, form a pan, form a pan. <laughs> I've got one of them undeveloped. It is impossible, by the way, to get black and white film developed if you don't have the gear. Anyway, there you go. So that's the, oh, yes. Let it snow. <laughs> I've got a Revelog texture. What is that? Bubbly fun all over the picture. Oh, nice. Oh, this one's not even got a label on it. I've also got another, oh, 50 ISO black and white. And let's have a look. Oh, nice one, Bruce. Hopefully you heard that. And a, oh, standard Porter 400. Yes! So excited to get these in. Nice one, did you see that? What are you doing, BB? Come on. Happy days. Right. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's get on to my next chapter. That was just, I just wanted to share that with you because I get these every two months and it's very exciting. And more importantly, I've got a sticker that I can give Clemmy. Happy days. There we are, that's better. Oh, right, let's get sorted. So what am I talking about? Well, today I am going to town Halifax. I'm going to pick up this film. I'm going to show you a little snippet of it and I'll see you in town. Right, I'm in town, I'm going to have a little jaunt around Halifax, get some last minute Christmas presents. There is going to be another video out of me, just in case you're excited about it, shooting on this bad boy. Oh yeah, I'm well excited for this. But anyway, check out that video, presuming the link's up there. If it's not, it'll be out in about two or three weeks-ish. i tell you what, just check out the channel. Just keep checking every day, push your notifications, subscribe, subscribe, all that absolute cheesy. In fact, in fact, I've not done a video for a while, so let's start something new. Do me a favour, do a thumbs down. Don't, don't subscribe. Why do you want to subscribe to this rubbish channel? Don't do it. Go out and find some good channels like Peter McKinnon, you know, and all these good guys. So, without further ado, I think I'm just going to go off and take some photos. Have fun. Who's yeah, Me. Baby's here now, she thinks I've got treats for him. This is what happens when you give him catnip. I'm digressing. Why am I here? Well, 
Let's try again, shall we? <laughs> Thanks, BB. I hope you can hear me, because B just licked my, my mic, but there you go. So, why am I doing this video? Well, I did my last little vlog and I got into a nice little rhythm in October. I actually filmed one again, didn't end up doing it, because basically, long story short, I, as you probably guess, I'm quite an obsessive person and I get so obsessed with photography sometimes I get a little bit carried away and forget that, you know, my number one priority is my family. So I just figured that, you know what, let's just take a bit of time off again and carry on with my film and my photos in the background. So I've taken lots of shots and stuff, but just, it takes a lot of time to produce a video. So I just figured, yeah, lay off, lay off it for a little bit and concentrate on friends and family make sure everyone's okay, and then get through to Christmas, and when I've got a bit of time off, I can crack a video on. So, lo and behold, I've got today off, and I've been Christmas shopping, I've done a little video for you, and I figured I'll just talk a little bit about next year. But next year, I've got a bit of a different aim, and I've really wanted to try and learn this year. This year was, for me, all about learning how to make films, how to tell stories, how to, I don't know, just enjoy myself with it, but, but with a bit of a purpose, and that purpose was to get to a level that was comfortable, like try and make like a decent production of some like, I guess ideas in my head. So next year for me is about, I guess executing them. So I'm gonna try if I can and do a few different themes on my channel. I'm gonna continue just logging my sort of journey in film photography and digital photography, just as general. When I get time, do a few vlogs, over make them fun, show you what I've got. But I'm not really gonna concentrate massively on that on YouTube. What I'm gonna really try and do is every maybe six weeks, maybe not once a month, maybe six to eight weeks, I want to put a film out about just different things I have ideas. And now I feel like I've built up a bit of like the editing skills. I'm not very good, but I've got enough that I can like portray a, a vision if you like. Whereas at the beginning of the year I didn't, I was just learning and that was the whole plan for 2020, just to learn, throw myself in it, get used to it. Next year is like, I guess I'm gonna try and, yeah, go for qual quality over quantity. So the first film I'm gonna do is like all about I'll give you an example. It's all trying to explain to everyone how social media works and why I always get comments such as, oh, just another photographer vlog, photography vlog, or why am I seeing X, Y, and Z all the time? Why am I only ever seeing one type of content? And there's like just really basic, simple understanding of why you do. So I'm going to, for example, that's going to, that's going to be my first video, I think. I'm going to do a, hopefully a bit of an animation video and explain just why and how that works for everyone who maybe doesn't understand it and hopefully broaden your horizons to why you're in control of what you see. But that might be a bit boring for you now, but it won't be, I promise, it'll be super exciting. So that's what I'm going to do. And this gives sort of be a couple of months I'm going to do a video, like hopefully like a bit of a film slash video of different content types and just have a bit of fun with it, but try and really execute it better rather than do the daily vlogs or the weekly vlogs just because they actually take a lot of time and they end up getting a bit stressful and da da da. So I'm going to do it the other way instead, quantity over quality. So there you go. But I promise when I've got some time off, if I'm going out to the country, if I'm going to the town, if I get back in the city, finally, I'll try and strap on the GoPro, pro, pro camera in there, do a bit of a uh, bit of vlogging. But it'll have to be sort of, yeah, if and when. And then I'm going, definitely going to carry on. Because even in this last sort of month or two, I've still shot about five rolls of film. Still shot in York. I've got some great street stuff I really want to share. I'm just biding my time and... I don't need to go back. I'm not going to go on, on about it in this video, I promise. But effectively, there's another path for me. I'm going to try and slow down a little bit, stop feeding that hungry sort of Instagram, you know, what's the word? Everyone's so obsessed with it. And it's not what I want to do. It's not, I want to be a photographer. And I think I've said this before, I want to be known as a bit of an artist in the long, long run. That's what I love to do. And you can do that and still be silly and be a bit of a fool like I am, that's fine. So that's what I'm gonna try and be next year, I think, and be true to myself a little bit. So less sort of Instagram sort of, what's the word? Obs not obsessed, what's the word for it? Less sort of clinging to that Instagram, oh, if I don't get this many followers or this, it's a failure, it's not about that. Actually, next year is about me, hopefully, doing the work and really learning and, and, and getting a proper direction in my work. That is all next year is about. And by that, I mean both direction, my photography, artistic world, and the filmmaking world I've just mentioned. So that is it. And that's what my channel is going to be about. So sorry, this episode's been literally me chatting with my pet Bruce, now licking the mic. Can you hear that? That's him licking the mic. <laughs> Hopefully it's not about that. There's going to be another couple of videos, one on the film, what my developing's got, what the pictures are like, all that stuff that's going to come up soon. 
And then I'm gonna do another little one on the shots I got today, which I'm actually quite excited about, you know, because, well, I've got one of what I'm going to get today, because I'm gonna go to Halifax, film with the GoPro, and try and just take the picture, but then get it developed in a couple of weeks, and then quickly show you what I've got, and just see whether I can actually get one image that I feel is good from a camera, I think from 1998-ish, um, auto, let's see. So anyway, thanks if you're still watching now. God, well done you. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to see you all soon, I promise. Uh, and yeah, just thanks a lot for supporting this year. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all soon.